Hey YouTube, what's going on? What's good? A good mate of mine donated me a fully working mobility scooter, just like this one, which I've ripped apart to turn into a very powerful security patrol robot. So thanks to you, Philip Cunningham. Today you're going to see the prototype go through its very first road test. After I've finished showing you how I designed and made some of the crucial parts for it, using a 3D printer, also donated to me by another good friend, Marcus Fuller. Go look him up on YouTube, what a geezer. I know it looks a bit crude, but it is a prototype. And part of the fun is to build it without spending a penny. It took me a few hours a day, around about six weeks to build it. Most of that time was spent designing and building the electronics to control the steering, to make it return back to center after letting go of the controls. Nightmare, that was some serious chip programming. Anyway, the steering motor is an old window wiper motor donated to me by another good friend, Gerdy, from GL Auto Services. The batteries are way too big, adding unnecessary weight to the robot. But I have got some smaller ones being donated to me from another good friend of mine, Robert Williams from Normanton Mobility Centre here in Derby. I very crudely linked a radio control servo to the forward and reverse pot just to see how well it works. It works great, but it's very bulky, taking up a lot of space. Now I have to build a similar contraption to servo control the speed pot. This time we're going to computer design a holder for the speed pot and the servo and make a couple of cogs to engage them. Then I'll print them out on my freebie 3D printer. <laughs> Center, let go of the steering back to the center. Oh, that's working beautiful. So, jobs are good, and right. It's time for the road test. There's over 100,000 pounds worth of vehicles in this car park. I don't want to be it in one of them. My word, it's wicked. Whoops. Looks like I might need a few driving lessons. I've got no insurance. Well, there you have it. There's still quite a bit of work to be done to finish it off, obviously. Yeah. I'm probably going to use aluminium plates to cover up the gubbins. I'm going to build a camera and transmitter into it so that it can be sent on patrols and relay back the images to the security officer on site in situations where the cabin can't be left unattended. Be sure to check out my next video where I'm going to be adding some harmless weaponry devices to it. Thanks for watching. Precision braking system. Mm -hmm.